Like, I don't, you know, a lot of people are like, I go to my job and then I go to the bar afterward and hang out and have beers. And like, I don't really do that. I go dancing, but uh, I program as a way to have fun too. <laughs> and so this was like my side fun project and it just ended up being a really good game and I wanted to make it. So, th so that was like around 2013 actually that I started designing this game, uh, but it's kind of been on the back burner for a long time. The aesthetic that I was telling you about before, about exploring a space of ideas, there's sort of different ways of, of doing that. Like Braid does it at a smaller scale. Like Braid is sort of a tight parallel structure where there's some number of worlds. Each world has the same number of puzzles. So they're like weighted roughly equal in importance kind of. But then Witness is like, well, some areas have more puzzles and some areas have fewer puzzles. And it's more like, it's a little more sprawling and not that tight, but that was okay because it's just doing a different thing. And then this new game is about, it's about engineering a combinatoric explosion. So there's like a lot more interactions of rules in this game. Like by the time you're done with Braid or the Witness, you could like write down what the rules are. And if you wrote that down for this game, it would be way bigger than for either of those games if you write them all. Like this piece of this minute to minute gameplay is really fun, but I could imagine other things that are similar to this that are like a different activity, but could kind of fit together in the same universe somehow, right? And so you could release one game that's like this thing, like the game has like different characters in it and different, you know, it's, it's got, a, it's not actually a puzzle game, but it's got a little bit of a puzzle sensibility. So there are objects that you recognize and you learn how they behave. And then you use that understanding of that behavior to do what you want to do. And so you can expand the universe to have more of those objects, right? Or more kinds of locations for those behaviors to occur in. And so I kind of wanted to do it, you know, the way like a fantasy or science fiction author will like write 27 novels in the same universe and like expand it out. And that seemed very challenging and interesting to think about because it would be a place that nobody's really done. It's like the rules that are related to each other, but they're not all the same in a way that like, I don't know, the Ender's Game books, like all have a similar style and similar type of world, but you're not saying that it's the same characters or the same objects necessarily, but rather rules that kind of seem like they go together in a category. Like, like I would want these things to actually interact at some level, but uh, still be kind of independent, right? Like the earth and the moon, they rotate around each other, but they're different bodies, like clearly, right? And you can do stuff on the earth that you can't do on the moon, like breathe. So well, on the moon, you could jump like way that. higher. 